Hello oh, guys, uh, new video, sorry it's taken me so long to get this one. Um, as you can see, it looks like not a whole lot has happened, which is kind of true. Um, I've chosen to spend a little bit more time with the family than on the car, slash I've been putting a 5.3 and an S10 for my little brother. Uh, we just got it running yesterday, so that's awesome. Hopefully next time he comes up, we'll get to drive it. Anyways, um, new progress, a little bit of a change. So you see this engine sitting here on the stand. This is a L29 out of a 99 Chevy 2500 van. So it is a roller cam, four volt main, overport heads uh, just a basic typical 454 but the benefit is so this one right here is what was in here but that is a two bolt main like mid 70s motor where this is a four bolt main roller motor with a little bit better heads so a little change i have those 320 aluminum heads that we're going to go on here um, I decided I got a killer deal on this, so this is going there very shortly. Um, the only thing I'm doing to it is cam, valve springs, uh, single plane, Victor Jr. intake, just the, t the same stuff that it was going on this motor, except for I'm waiting for cam and valve springs to get here for this, um, and then I'm going to take either this block or my other block and put billet splayed main caps in it and then do a full forged bottom end motor um, with those 320 heads and buy a little bit bigger turbo that will actually still fit in the same spot as here um, and hopefully that baby will be able to make about 12 1300 where this baby we're gonna find out seeing how it's all stocked we're gonna put about 20 pounds to it and see how she holds up anyways a uh, new update on the car I don't think you guys have seen it um, I filled in all the holes here filled in all the heater box holes then if you guys follow my Instagram page you've seen where I had posted that I had filled this in and filled this side in it was all cut out here nasty looking so I got these two holes here a couple little holes down here to fill in a couple over here and then put a little bit of Bondo on there not much just a little tiny skim coat and we'll get her painted up and then this old girl it's gonna get stuck in there. I wanted to have this thing driving by now, but obviously it hasn't worked out. So um, we're just gonna keep pushing forward. Oh, one other thing. The last thing I have to do is how I'm, I, in my previous videos, you guys had seen that I was, I had talked about how I was gonna do the fresh air intake. So, I gotta still put a plate right here that's gonna go around the inside of the, in the intake of the turbo, which I'll put a plate on that side and a plate on this side. And then the air, like I was mentioning before, the air filter is gonna go right up here underneath this. Uh, sorry, right underneath this grate. Um, that's how the fresh air system is gonna work on it. Um, so after I put in those two plates, then I can go ahead and put a little bit of mud on here, paint it up. Um, I'm going to paint the backside where the radiator and the fuel cell and all that is. I'm going to paint all that at the same time. And then this thing's going back together for final assembly, at least final assembly with the, that motor. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can get this painted. I only get to work on this thing a few hours in the morning, and that's only if I get up early enough. If I get lazy and I don't get up early enough, I only get to work on it for half an hour or so. Um, anyway, so if I get this thing painted in the next couple of weeks, then she is getting put back together. I Today is March second i think i don't remember march something 
Well, I have a couple races I want to go to in June, but I need to make sure this baby is all back together and maybe even that forged bottom end motor in it by then, but we'll find out. Anyways, stay tuned. See you next time.